Texas's two-year budget takes roughly twice that amount of time to prepare, produce, and administer. Agencies develop their appropriations requests in the first year, the legislature approves the General Appropriations Act in the second year, and the budget is implemented over the next two years. Important players in the Texas budget process include the Legislative Budget Board, or LBB, the Controller of Public Accounts, the Office of the Governor, particularly the Governor's Office on Budget and Policy, otherwise known as the GOBP, the Texas Legislature, including both the House of Representatives and the Texas Senate, and the State Auditor's Office, or SAO. Created in 1949 for the primary purpose of recommending legislative appropriations for all agencies of state government, the Legislative Budget Board is composed of the Lieutenant Governor, the Speaker of the House, the Chairs of the Senate Committee on Finance, Senate Committee on State Affairs, House Committee on Appropriations, and House Committee on Ways and Means, two additional members of the Senate appointed by the Lieutenant Governor, and two additional members of the House of Representatives appointed by the Speaker. The LBB employs a staff that includes analysts who work with and monitor state agencies. The LBB staff is often referred to as the LBB and occasionally as the LBO, or Legislative Budget Office. The Legislative Budget Board is active in developing the fiscal policy of the state. Among the legal responsibilities of the Legislative Budget Board are to adopt a constitutional spending limit, prepare a general appropriations bill, prepare an agency performance reports, guide, review, and finalize agency strategic plans, prepare fiscal notes identifying the probable costs of proposed legislation and impact statements, and to take necessary action to transfer funds from one purpose to another within an agency or transfer from one agency to another. These actions are known as budget execution actions. In between sessions, the Legislative Budget Board conducts semi-annual and annual assessments of state agency performance, supplies information and support to interim committees, publishes Fiscal Size Up, which summarizes the important fiscal actions of the prior legislative session, and describes the purpose and services of state agencies, as well as provides comparative information on Texas state government. During regular session, the Legislative Budget Board supports the legislative appropriations process by providing staff resources for the House Committee on Appropriations, the Senate Committee on Finance, and the Conference Committee on the Appropriations Bill. This support often takes the form of tracking committee decisions, answering inquiries from committee members, performing analysis, and providing testimony. The Texas Controller of Public Accounts acts as the state's chief financial officer, accountant, treasurer, and economic forecaster. He or she is a member of the executive branch elected statewide to a four-year term. The controller is required to submit to the legislature at the beginning of each session a statement regarding the financial condition of the state and an estimate of the probable receipts and disbursements for the current fiscal year. The statement also must include an estimate of anticipated revenue for the coming biennium. This statement is referred to as the Biennial Review Estimate, or BRE. The Texas Constitution prohibits the legislature from appropriating an amount of money greater than the estimated amount that will be collected in revenue. Once an appropriations bill is passed by the legislature, the controller must determine whether anticipated revenue will be sufficient to cover appropriations. If the controller determines that the appropriations bill is within the revenue limitation, the bill is certified and it goes to the governor for approval. If the controller determines that the appropriations bill appropriates more than the amount of anticipated revenue, the bill returns to the House in which it originated where the steps may be taken to bring appropriations within the amount of anticipated revenue. The controller is also responsible for collecting state taxes, tracking almost 600 separate revenue and spending funds, and ensuring that the state agencies stay within their budgets. The Office of the Governor is involved in the budget process from start to finish, beginning with strategic planning and ending with budget execution. 
The governor's involvement in the budget process begins with the strategic planning process. The governor and the LBB jointly develop achievement goals for state governments in nine major areas, education, regulation, natural resources, health, human services, transportation, public safety and corrections, general government, and state employee benefits. These goals are then provided to each of the state agencies for use in developing their strategic plans. The governor or a designee of the governor also works with the Legislative Budget Board in developing Legislative Appropriations Requests or LAR instructions. The LARs developed by the state agencies must be submitted to the governor. The governor or a designee of the governor must hold one or more public hearings regarding the LARs which may be held in conjunction with the Legislative Budget Board meetings. The governor is required to compile a biennial appropriation budget which should be delivered to the legislature at the beginning of the regular session. The governor is then authorized to develop a general appropriations bill to be delivered in the legislature within the first 30 days of the legislative session. Often, the governor's budget serves as a guiding policy statement when the, while the LBB's bill is used as the appropriations bill. After the legislature passes a general appropriations bill and the bill is certified by the controller, the bill must be approved by the governor. Line item veto power allows the governor to veto specific items in the general appropriations bill. After the budget takes effect, the governor and the legislative budget board may jointly exercise their budget execution authority by approving the transfer of money from one program to another within an agency or transferring funds from one agency to another if the action is warranted. The Governor's Office on Budget and Policy is active in developing agency strategic plans. The Legislative Budget Board and the GOBP jointly develop strategic plan instructions which are usually forwarded to the agencies during the interim between regular sessions of the legislature. The GOBP works with state agencies to develop acceptable performance measures. After state agencies develop strategic plans, the GOBP along with the LBB may compile those plans into long-range strategic planning for the state. The Texas State Auditor's Office serves as the official auditor to all state departments, agencies, commissions, and boards. Its purpose is to safeguard the resources of the state and to ensure the resources are used legally, efficiently, and effectively. The State Auditor's Office rates the audited measures in one of four ways. First, certified without qualification. Second, certified with qualification. Third, factors prevented certification, or fourth, inaccurate. The SAO's involvement in the strategic planning and performance budgeting system is to examine the accuracy of reported performance measures and assess the related internal controls. The SAO will assess the accuracy of reported performance measures so that the governor and the legislature can determine to what extent they can rely on the reported performance measures when making decisions or evaluating state agencies. The SAO also verifies that the performance measures are produced by management systems that have adequate internal controls, adequate safeguards over the collection, calculation, and reporting of performance measure data, increase the probability that reported measures will be accurate over time. The first step in preparing the budget is the development of statewide vision for the future of Texas government. The governor, in cooperation with the Legislative Budget Board, is responsible for preparing that mission statement for Texas. The statement provides a framework for the development of strategic plans and sets forth the mission for state government, core principles to guide decision making and goals, and benchmarks for various state agency services and programs. The mission of Texas state government is to support and promote individual and community efforts to achieve and sustain social and economic prosperity for its citizens. The philosophy statement for Texas state government is as follows. State government will be ethical, accountable, and dedicated to serving the citizens of Texas well. State government will operate efficiently and spend the public's money wisely. State government will be based on four core principles that will guide decision-making processes. These are limited and efficient government, local control, personal responsibility, and support for strong families. Government cannot solve every problem or meet every need. State government should do a few things and do them well. The best form of government is one that is closest to the people. State government should respect the right and ability of local communities to resolve these issues and that affect them. 
the state must avoid imposing unfunded mandates. It is up to each individual, not government, to make responsible decisions about his or her life. Personal responsibility is the key to a just society. State employees, too, must be accountable for their actions. The family is the backbone of society, and accordingly, state government must pursue policies that nurture and strengthen Texas families. Texas state government should serve the needs of our state, but also be mindful of those who pay the bills. By providing the best service at the lowest cost and working in concert with other partners, state government can effectively direct the public's resources to create a positive impact on the lives of individual Texans. The people of Texas expect the best and state government must give it to them. The following instructions are given to the state agencies with regard to budget preparation. Texas state government must be limited, efficient, and completely accountable. It should foster opportunity and economic prosperity, focus on critical priorities, and support the creation of strong family environments for our children. The stewards of the public trust must be men and women who administer state government in a fair, just, and responsible manner. To honor the public trust, state officials must seek new and innovative ways to meet state and government priorities in a fiscally responsible manner. The next step is the development of a strategic plan by each state agency as required by statute. A strategic plan is a long-term plan that sets forth where an agency is and where the agency plans to go. The Governor's Office of Budget and Policy, or GOBP, formerly the Governor's Office of Budget Planning and Policy, and the Legislative Budget Board staff issue instructions for developing strategic plans in the spring preceding the legislative session. Strategic plans include a mission statement and identity of the goals of the agency, the population served by the agency, a description of how the agency plans to specifically achieve its goals and the measures that will be used to assess the agency's success in achieving those goals. After developing a strategic plan, the agency submits its plan to the GOBP and the LBB for approval. In the spring or early summer preceding the legislative session, the LBB sends out detailed legislative appropriations requests or LAR instructions. These instructions are used by agencies to develop their budget requests. Included in each agency's LAR are the performance measures on which budgeting is based. Measures are developed by the agency itself and must be approved by the LBB and GOBP. During the following month, the LBB and GOBP hold hearings with each agency concerning the agency's strategic plan and LAR. During these hearings, the items to be included in the agency's strategic plan and the performance measures to be contained in the LAR are determined. LARs must be submitted by a specified deadline, usually summer or early fall, and copies must be provided to the Legislative Budget Board, the GOBP, the State Auditor's Office, the Office of the Controller of Public Accounts of the State of Texas, and other state agencies. These LARs form the basis for the Appropriations Bill prepared by the Legislative Budget Board. During the fall, prior to the legislative session, the Legislative Budget Board staff prepares the General Appropriations Bill draft. The proposed Appropriations Bill contains performance measures, the maximum number of full-time equivalent or FTE positions allowed per agency, capital budget information, specified enumerated instructions, and contingencies on certain expenditures called riders. The amount of funding recommended by the LBB and the method of financing each agency's appropriation. The amount of funding that the LBB staff sets forth for each agency in the Appropriations Bill and the amount of funding requested by the agency do not always match. To help compare the amount recommended by the Legislative Budget Board and the amount requested by the agency, the Legislative Budget Board pr produces a document entitled Legislative Budget Estimates. That document sets forth the information contained in the proposed appropriations bill except for riders and includes amounts expended by the agency in past years and the amount requested by the agency for the coming biennium. Next, the Appropriations Bill is filed with both Houses of the Legislature, allowing each House to work on the bill simultaneously and independently. As a matter of political stability, the final bill is sent to the Governor traditionally is a Senate bill, one session, and a House bill, the next. The Controller is required to provide the Legislature a Biennial Review Estimate, or BRE, of the beginning of each regular session. 
Because the legislature is constitutionally prohibited from spending more than it will be collecting in taxes, BRE is used by the legislature to ensure that appropriations will not exceed the anticipated amount of revenue. During the first part of the session, the Senate Committee on Finance and the House Committee on Appropriations independently received testimony on the budget from state agencies and institutions of higher education. Each committee makes changes to the budget document. This process is referred to as markup. After the bill passes out of the respective committee in each chamber, it will come before the full body for a vote. The bill is then referred to a conference committee composed of members of both houses to resolve differences between the Senate and House versions of the bill. Like the designation of the final bill, the Senate and the House of Representatives traditionally alternate each session in chairing the conference committee. After the conference committee has reconciled the differences and has agreed to the appropriations bill, the bill is sent back to both houses for a vote on final passage. The conference committee then issues a report and prepares a General Appropriations Act for consideration by both chambers. If both houses pass the appropriations bill, it is sent to the controller for certification. The Texas Constitution requires the controller to certify whether there will be sufficient revenue to cover the appropriations made by the legislature. After the appropriations bill is certified by the controller, it is sent to the governor for his or her signature. Texas Constitution Section 14 Article 4 gives the governor line-item veto authority. If the legislature is still in session, when the authority is exercised, it may override the uh, governor's veto by a two-thirds majority vote in each house. After the appropriations bill is certified by the controller and signed by the governor, it is implemented over the next two years. The appropriations bill takes effect on September 1st of each odd-numbered year. Although the budget does not appear in Texas statutes or codes, it is law and agencies are bound by it. The Legislative Budget Board and State Auditor's Office are responsible for monitoring agency compliance with the budget. The Governor and the Legislative Budget Board are empowered with Budget Execution Authority, which is the authority to shift funds between agency programs or even between agencies if the need arises when the Legislature is not in session. <music>